Okay, back to the photogenic jazz bass tuners. So I'm filling, I'm filling the holes where the old tuner was. So I've already done three holes. I filled them and I've cleaned up two holes. And I'm going to clean this one next. I'm going to show you how I drill it out first and then put in a toothpick. So the first part is to drill it out. So I, as you can see, I've got the drill bit taped off to where I want it. I don't want to go any deeper than that. I'm going to back it out. Okay. Clean that off. Okay, so now I got my hole drilled. I'm going to take a piece of toothpick, just jam it in there, fits perfectly. Cut it off with my clippers or wire cutters. Just leave a bit on the end. Okay. All right, so I cut it off. Take it back out. Now I'm going to stick it in some glue. I got some wood glue here. I'll fill it up with some wood glue. You can't see me, but I'm rolling it in the glue right now. Okay. Got it all glued up. I'm just going to jam it in there. Get rid of the uh, excess glue to squeeze out. Clean it up. And just let that set. This one's already hardened, so I'm going to show you how I just clean this one off. So you got to get yourself a chisel here. And just very gently kind of cut that away. Just very gently. going slowly, gently cutting out the little piece. Ah, uh, there it comes right off. Okay, and just clean that up a bit. And perfectly flat. So I've got three done. This one just needs to set. And then I'll clean that one up. That's how I fill and clean the holes. And later I need to put in the new tuner and re-drill the holes.